I've been doing a little boring today. We have some connecting rods. They've been welded in the bore. There's a horizontal boring mill on the knee. It's a devlet to be exact. I've got two buttons. I'm going to fixture on this large bore. I get a lot of, or I used to get a lot of questions years ago about boring. Carbide with braised tips, how do you break chips, etc. So we'll do a little boring here. And it may end up two parts. Where I do the boring, the fun part. And then I talk about the tooling, how I make the setup. I have a clamp here, I like to keep this clamp level. This does very little work, only on the rough board. Well, that's it. It's close enough. And that's tight enough. I've referenced where the bore was before these were bore welded from this pad using a height gauge. I'll talk about that a bit later. I'll get that phone call later too. And after I referenced these, I stamped how high that bore was from the pad, and this one was 881. Really? Yep, yeah, 881. That's a tall pad. So, First bar, I'm going to get in a little closer so we can see what's going on. That's pretty good. The first bar I better set my height to, 881 I said. We'll be running 335 RPM. 3 thousandths feet and the depth of cut will be one eighth of an inch.
but I've had pretty good luck coming into tolerance in two passes today. I checked this bore with a micrometer and then after I cut it with this bar I'll check it with a dial bore gauge. I also loosen this clamp almost just a little bit of clamping. You don't need much force to, uh, you know, I had a lot on the on the uh, roughing cut, but on the next two cuts, this one and the next one if I need it, you don't need any pressure at all really, and all you'll do is push the bore down and it's real easy to move this around a half thousandths or more. And uh, I trend it, it should be about an inch 700, and I'm 701. This bore is going to get me somewhere around 1 inch 748 and a half, or about 25 thousandths a side. The piece needs to finish at 1 750 minus a half to minus 1 uh, for a, you know, a, a half a thousandths press to a one thousandths press on a 1 and 3 quarter inch pin in basic diameter. And if they take use up all their tolerance and take it one over then it's at most one and three quarter thousands press which would be a very heavy press but they run their pins pretty good this bore will be three hundred and thirty five thousandths and four point two inches feed rate chips get stuck in the mechanism. I'm reading 748 and a half. It's about minus one and a half. This is going to need another board. been too lucky to get away with two bores. This is another inch and a quarter tool. It's got a little radius on it. Now I'm going to be running about 7,000 feet rate and 565 RPM. And it's only going to cut maybe two, three tenths a side out of it. It's set for 749 and 7. Or 749-2, I'm sorry.
see it'll just be little bitty dust like chips in there. It just barely shaves it out. So if somebody tells you that you can't uh, see those little chips there on the bottom, that you can't cut tents with a boring tool, um, they're kind of full of it because you can. Let's see if we got enough, although I don't think I'll adjust it. I'll either hone it or polish it. So you need a little polish it. It's 749 right on the nose. We're going to tighten this back up a little. There's a fork that goes around this connecting rod. It wants a flat face. The bushing goes in the fork. Use a little larger tool for this. All I need is enough for that bushing to ride against, and we'll be fine. This is an inch and five eighths bar. Won't be running any 500 RPM with it. More like something like 70. back out the camera just a little bit give you an idea there you can see the call it and the tool you really can't see out behind the piece that's tight enough get our mirror so we can see what we're doing Let's talk about our tuning a little bit after I get this out. 